I've had the RS3 for a couple of days now and it's been painful. My neck got tweaked because this car is so fast, I had to go see a doctor and he told me to take it easy. So this is me taking it easy. That was 0 to 103.7 seconds. A full tenth of a second faster than the claim figure. But I think that's enough of that for now. Let's take a tour of the new RS3. You've got green details over here in Alcantara and Alcantara steering wheel as well, which gets me started on the things I don't like about the RS3. You need your hands to be perfectly clean to work the steering wheel and after just 6,000 kilometers, this piece over here is already worn. Another option I wouldn't spec is this panoramic sunroof over here, which just makes it too hot inside the car. The dashboard comes with a host of configurable features, some of which I'm still trying to get the hang of, and this rev counter over here with its numbers that come towards the driver in the performance mode, I'm not a fan. Just give me a regular rev counter every time. This costs 1.245 million, but if you want the one you really want, the full fat, all out version, that's going to cost you almost 1.5 million. But at that stage, you could have the best car point to point in the world. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, this is an exceptionally fast car compared to any other car. And although I've listed a whole bunch of things that I might not be particularly happy with, including that price, once you put your foot down, all of that fades to the background. Those monthly repayments become a distant memory. And all of a sudden, you find yourself in what is arguably one of the best all-around cars in the world. Where this car comes alive is on anything that remotely resembles a corner because thanks to the trick differential, those wide tires, the suspension, and just incredible engineering, this is one of the best cornering Audis that I've ever driven. Oh my goodness, then there's the brakes. You can get the optional carbon ceramics as well if you want, and that combined with the performance pack gives you 290 kilometer an hour top speed. There's not much else on the market like it. If like me, you like rear wheel drive mode, you can put this car into torque rear mode thanks to buttons on the steering wheel. And that sends so much power to the back that you feel like you're actually driving a rear wheel drive car. But uh, according to Audi, that should be reserved for the racetrack. So let's turn that off, shall we? But maybe it's the Alcantara underneath my hands or the way the pedals are perfectly placed for a car like this or the seating position or the seats. That just makes me want to press the RS button, drop a couple of gears and do that. Again. And again. Hmm. 